my bacteria bloom is clearing up finally. Oh, I'm so happy. I was afraid to like clean the inside of the glass or anything. I didn't want to disturb anything that was going on with the bacteria bloom. You know, because I know that bacteria lives on the glass, rocks, everything. So I was just afraid to scrub anything. But uh, it really helped when I added in an extra little internal filter here. You know, uh, I put uh, a C3, uh, I believe it's a C3 uh, foam pad in there as long with some uh, filter floss by Fluval. So as soon as I did that and did uh, maybe like a 15 to 20% water change last night, there's a hell of a difference. Like I could barely even see in this thing last night. So, they're coming along. I'll be getting my new LED light for this tank uh, probably by the end of the week. I just propagated some of my stuff. I cut down some of my S repins and replanted them. You can see there's still probably a little bacteria bloom going on this one here. But my S repins, I propagated those uh, I believe it was two nights ago cut down and cut the excess stem off from the bottom you know I believe it soaks up a lot of the nutrients and a lot of the growth to the plant goes to waste if there's no leaves on it being used so I cut those down and I'm hoping that these S repins here will turn into something like these ones I've been using Seachem uh, Iron and uh, Flourish, and uh, my plants are bright red, you know, I believe they can get brighter than this. I propagated my Wisteria, you can see where, when I bought it from the store, this is the original here. See how it's like the leaves are real like thin and, you know, cut precisely, and all the new ones I cut all the new branches it comes out of light green and the leaves are thicker so I believe that you know when plants are grown you know out of water and then regrown back into water like when they come from the factory or wherever they're produced at that they grow totally different at least that's what I'm getting in my tank which I like them better instead of the thin ones like that I like when it looks all bushy green and all that my dwarf hair grass I uh you know, I was told that if I trimmed everything and propagated them that it causes something in the plant to uh, basically make it go crazy and want to start growing. All these new seedlings here, all this new grass is all runners from this one here. But those all came in like three days, literally in the morning time. And by the end of the night, I can see the growth by a good couple centimeters. I put a couple root tabs down in here by uh, API. I went with API instead of Seachem because API, I believe it has a high iron in them. So, I'm hoping that my tanks start to clear up, man. And I want to get some jungle val, you know. I think some jungle val up through here. I want to kind of keep it like a, somewhat of like an island up through here. And then have this all green around here. With maybe some jungle val coming up from behind here. Just like in my 20 tall here. I want to get some jungle valve for the back of this here too. But this one's still going through a little bit of a bacteria bloom. But since I've been using the iron, uh, my Amazon sword back there. I, I cut down one of them because one of the leaves were completely yellow and all that before I started using the Flourish and the Seachem. But I'm thinking about cutting this one out here because it's still a little bit too much damage. But since I've been using the iron, which has been, I would say, probably about the last four or five days, right where the stem goes into the leaves, you can see how much darker where it's getting, uh, looks like taking in the iron. Because I guess when it shows iron deficiency, you can see the veins inside of the leaves, which like right there, you can see it pretty good. But at the base, it's starting to turn real green. Uh, some of my, I believe those are maybe Anubis. I got a new little leaf here coming, as well as this one right there. Those all just started coming up. 
And I hope these really take off my S weapons. I have a Neo Diffuser, the acrylic one. It goes by on Amazon uh, PM6060. Works amazing. Uh oh. You can see one of my S weapons. I forgot to replant. I gotta grab it up. So, I'm gonna take care of that, man. You guys, uh, enjoy your day, man. This is better be good. Thanks for checking out my tank.